I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Merry Palm Sunday? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available in all major platforms. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us filling the ears of youth all over the world with the saving power of the gospel. And we need this gospel in these dark times. This took place to fulfill that which was spoken by the prophets. Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The Advent season begins, we got the violet, the violet. The Advent season begins with Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And for all of us who like the thing to go in order, start with the for his birth, end with his death, and then afterwards the life of the church, this seems a little out of place. What's Jesus doing riding in Jerusalem in December? Well, it's because of the season of Advent. Advent, Adventus, means he comes. And so the season of Advent is all about the Lord's coming. His coming in the manger on Christmas, his coming with the clouds of heaven on the last day, and his coming in his gifts. This year, to celebrate the Advent season, we'll have words from the Dean of Theology from HT on Fridays. Um, you get, to, you get to be on the dean's list on Fridays. And so I will not be around on Fridays in Advent, but Pastor Aaron Finker, the Dean of Theology for Higher Things, will be doing videos all on Advent. But just as a little preview to that, the reason why we have this reading, which seems out of place, but it isn't, is twofold, I think. First, the Advent season. It's all about Jesus' coming. He's riding into Jerusalem, headed for his coronation on the cross. Ride on, ride on in majesty, in lowly pomp, ride on to die. So we, without doubt, are dragged back, and this is the second reason, are dragged to the cross for Advent. And that's why I think Advent, violet is a good color for Advent, because it, it fronts us up to repentance. The king is coming, get ready. If somebody's coming over to your house, if somebody important's coming over to your house, you're going to spend some time cleaning up your house. And Advent is the season where the Lord cleans up our lives. He resets us. He starts us over again. A new year, new church year, new time to get our attention focused and get our lives ready. He's doing it for Jesus' coming. And he's coming soon in the manger, Christmas, coming soon in the clouds of heaven on the last day. And he's coming today in his gifts, where we sing in the Sanctus, uh, blessed is he, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna to the highest. And so the Advent season is all about our Lord's coming and the Lord preparing you, adventing you to come. Yes, I just made that a participle, but you know what? Um, he's doing it. It's his Advent after all. And the preparation may be in your life, but it's still all about his coming. And what a better way to start than his coming into Jerusalem, our king, our savior, headed for his coronation, his crowning with thorns and his death on the cross. A gentle reminder that baby in a manger is born to die for you. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Merry Advent! And this has been another Higher Things video short.